All right, uh, so welcome to uh, this week's lecture. Uh, so this week, we will focus on data an analysis in Python. Uh, so we will talk about the basic statistics that how we can um, do some simple uh, data analysis by using some Python, um, some famous Python libraries. Uh, so before I start, I just want to share um, this paragraph. Uh, so this is from our um, Python crash course uh, textbook. So it says that the coding is actually political. Uh, so uh, the code is power and also learning code actually gives you the power. So the more you understand the code, the more you understand that how impact the tech platforms and those products that have on people's life. Okay. And also that as as you learn to code, so be aware that the power that you're gaining. So analyzing data is now become more and more important and also be able be able to do it by your own is also uh, very, very important. OK, so um, so for each of us, so actually uh, learning how to code and not how to program is also kind of gaining such type of the power. OK, and another website I want to share with us with you is uh, NB Viewer. So NB Viewer is uh, from the official website of the GP Notebook. Um, so this website allow you to share your notebooks and also to view your notebooks. So so if you go to this website and you just copy and paste the URL of your notebook on GitHub, Okay, and you will be able to see the data that on GitHub uh, on, on NBVR. So some cases, GitHub may not be able to display your notebook uh, correctly. So you can try use the NBVR. Okay, uh, so let's say that we copy this URL. Okay, of your uh, GitHub on your GitHub. And now if you switch to the NBVR and also you paste that one. OK, so now you can see those um, notebooks. So if for some reason that uh, GitHub cannot display, cannot uh, display your notebook correctly, so you can check your notebooks uh, through the NB Viewer. So in most cases, so they will work pretty well on NB Viewer website. All right. So again, so before we start, our next step is that we want to upload data to our S3 bucket. So as we said earlier, so we have this uh, S3. So that is our uh, data lake solution. And we have our notebook, Okay, so which is on the SageMaker. Both of them are on AWS. So we, we, we put our data on S3 and also we will read data from S3 into our uh, notebook so that we can do some data analysis. Uh, because S3 is a cheaper way and also is a more efficient way for storing the data. All right, so now let's go to our console. Uh, I have to log out with my previous account, okay. Uh, so now let's go to our console. And first, let's go to our S3 service and remember we do have a bucket that created here okay and the data that we are going to use uh, for this lecture is on my github so it is called diamonds.xls so that is in the excel format so let's you can see on github you can download the data directly so let's hit download so now this will be downloaded this is going to down, be downloaded in my local computer. And now let's go to S3. And within the bucket that we just created, we created, uh, sorry, we created last week. And let's hit upload. And let's click add files. And if you go to your uh, the place where you download the diamond, so select that file and let's say upload. OK, and now you can see this, uh, this data has been uploaded. All right, so let's go to our S3 bucket. Uh, we can see within this bucket, we have now have uploaded this diamond data. All right, and now uh, let's go to SageMaker. So 
I'm going to open that one into a new uh, window. And now let's start our notebook. So start. OK, uh, so um, this may take a few minutes so that uh, it will uh, be ready. So now let's go back to our lecture. OK, so data analysis in Python. So in Python, um, there are a lot of Python libraries that are, have the same capacities, capabilities as R or as MATLAB. OK, so here I just list, uh, listed a few of them. So this is not an completed list. Um, the SciPy is a Python based uh, project, I would say. Uh, so it has a lot of open source tool uh, for analyzing data for mathematics, data science, engineering. So it has those following Python libraries, so like NumPy, SciPy, and also Matplotlab. OK, so NumPy is great for the data analysis. And SciPy has a lot of statistic tools. Uh, Matplotlab is great for data visualization. OK, uh, so we will use some of them uh, during today's lecture. Uh, however, so we cannot uh, go into details for all those Python libraries because each single of those Python libraries may take an entire semester. So for you to learn um, those all those um, libraries, those functions. We also have Pandas. So Pandas is also a Python library that has high performance and also easy to use data structures. OK, and so it is a very great way to handle to organize the data in a structured format so that uh, the other Python libraries can analyze the data. And also Pandas also provides some data analytics functions um, itself. So we will use Pandas a lot uh, in today's lecture. Uh, Scikit-learn is a very simple uh, data mining and also machine learning, actually, on um, Python library. Um, NLTK is, uh, is one that for uh, natural language processing. So for example, you can perform sentimental analysis, uh, topic modeling, etc. Um, but in our lecture, we will try this one, so TextBob. So TextBob is a very simple. A version that uh, do some, can help us to, to do some uh, natural language processing tasks. So uh, in our class, we will try Pandas and also TextBob. And tomorrow, we will also uh, try some very simple uh, visualization by using Matplotlab, which actually has been integrated in, uh, into Pandas. All right, so now let's talk about Pandas. So Pandas has a very uh, great um, data structure function that called data frame. So data frame is a two dimensional labeled data structures that can contain rows and also columns. So basically, when you load data into Python, and you can use Pandas, put that into this structured format where you have columns and also you have rows. And by doing that, you can perform some like as you can treat that one as a SQL table. You can also treat that one as a dictionary. OK, so we will see that later. So it's it's very easy to to handle data and to organize data. And Pandas has also a lot of top level reader functions that can read data from many uh, uh, data sources, for example, like uh, Excel file, CSV file. Uh, they also support JSON, although which is not uh, recommended because Pandas uh, can is great for the structured data. And also you can also use Pandas to load data from like uh, relational databases. OK, so let's take a very quick look at Pandas. So um, as we did, always did so let's also first upload uh, update our local repository okay so let's get a pull and that okay nothing has changed and now let's open our notebook uh, so today is our lecture 12 so let's open a new notebook 
and we are still using condor Python uh, 3 as uh, the interpreter. So this will be LE Lecture 12. OK, so let's first import the pandas. So import pandas. And this Python library should has should has already been installed into this notebook instance because this is a very famous one. And next, let's let's create a data frame. So data frame equals here we are going to use pandas dot read Excel function. OK, and I think the the function name itself explains the purpose of this function. So we will read Excel files, uh, whatever we, we provided within these premises, and that will convert the data into this data frame object. And we call that data frame object as DF. OK, so where is our data? So remember that our data is on in S3 bucket. So if we click this Excel file and you can see we have this S3 URI. Okay, URI. So that is a location that that where the Excel file is located in our S3 bucket. So let's just click, copy this URI R, and now we put that into this parentheses. And remember that should be a string. And now if we type date frame. Uh, if you still remember that we can treat data frame as an SQL table, also as a dictionary. So here, let's see if I just want the the top ten records. Now, if I run it, okay, and we will see that the table has the result. The table has been written. So we have the top ten rows, um, and also we have the headings of all the tables. So the ID, weight of the diamonds, the colors of those diamonds, clarity of those diamonds, and also who read those diamonds, and also price. OK, you can see it's, it's pretty nice that we by look at the data that um, in, in Python by using the pandas data frame. 